Hello everybody, Ren here for Scrappy Toys. Now I'm here to show you how to get creative with such things that you find around in your house or maybe out in the street like how I use uh, old wood that I find. Now this is a piece of old wood, see, it's pretty weather beaten. So uh, what I did was sand it a bit, my electric sander, if you don't have electric sander you can do it by hand. But you can see the difference, but it still gives it that uh, old look. So I'm going to show you today, because like I'm always into uh, crate labels, the old ones, you know, you can see this one's a little faded, just kind of fit right in. So anyway, what I'm going to do is attach it, and you can also see that I kind of burned some of the edges here to kind of give that old look. You, know. and you can also do that with the wood too. Maybe you get a selling torch or something and just kind of put some little scorch marks on there or even just uh, a lighter maybe a lighter can uh, just kind of put some smoky look to it but anyway something like that you know what I'm talking about but anyway you go ahead and put this on here where you want it like so now with Dan got your bearings down and you get some glue and you just yeah. So pour it on the back here, around the edge is nice and good, and in the middle, around the edges again, make sure you get that. You don't want to get too close to the edges because when you go ahead and uh, press this down, it will uh, kind of seep out, but you know, nothing you can, you can always clean it up. So you set this down here like so. Right here, and then just kind of gently push down on it. Okay, once you got that down, see this? And you put it out in the sun for a while. And you, even if the edges don't stick all the way down, maybe you have to go back and put a little bit more glue, you know, to make them sit down a little bit. Even if they come up a little bit, that gives it a little bit more authenticity, I guess you want to call it, because you don't want it too perfect, because yeah, after all, it's been like weather beaten, it's been out, so anyway. Now after that's gotten through, now, you can use this bullseye this shellac spray on varnish, and it works pretty good. Uh, I've done, let me put this to the side here. I've done these with it. This one's a little older, though, but you can see it does put a nice shine to it. And I also like to put little gadgets along with it. See, I got this old Coca-Cola bottle opener, wall, wall mount, and also with this one, I have found an old thermos. A thermometer, I mean. <laughs> anyway, I found a thermometer out, and I thought I'd stick that on there. Also, I incorporate old nails, rusty nails in there, just like I did with this one. So the rusty nail in there. And also, you know, these crate labels, I got them from, now, from one of the first feather when they used to put the counters out. They used to have them with crate labels. And after, I, you know, I saved all mine, and just to do leaves, you know, or do other things with them. Oh, yeah, that's why I saved these, that's where I got these from. And also, as far as the gizmos, when I go for my walks, ah, I always find little things to pick up might go good with the some of whatever I'm making. And these are caps to blood bolts on a truck. And I use this on one of my buildings I made at church. I drilled a hole on top of my bell inside the uh, bell tower. Pretty cool. But anyway, you can do that. Now once you get, I was talking to you about, you can get a really strong, stronger polyurethane and it can come out like this. Now, I'll take some close-up pictures, but I don't know if you can see how glossy those come out. That's almost like the stuff to use on gym floors. You know, really thick, glossy. Looks pretty nice, huh? And uh, here's another one that I did. Again, I use that really thick, glossy polyurethane. And, uh, yeah, even if you scratch it, you can rub the, the scratch out of it. <laughs> thick it is and they and boats when they uh, paint boats and they, they use a really good polyurethane on those also if you can get a hold of that stuff 
That's that's primo stuff there. And also, you don't have to use crate labels. And I think I remember telling you I had got a hold of some old redwood shingles at the re-roofing the house. I took a picture from an old church here downtown, Seventh Day Adventist Church. And I could get it, I burned the edges here a little bit. And I used this stuff to give it a nice little, well, it's a little dusty, but anyway, see that? It's pretty cool, huh? So that's what I did with the picture. And I took my own picture and printed it out. And you can do the same thing too. You know, you don't, like I said, you don't have to use these labels. You go to the Antique Row here in Pomona, and they have magazines over there, and just go find yourself a magazine, find some interesting pictures, and use those. Whatever they may be. But anyway, yeah. And then, like I said, once this is dried, you want to go ahead and spray some of the stuff on. Now, you don't want to just sit there and hold it one spot. You want to just gradually just go back and forth, go back and forth. You don't want to have to try to cover it one, one coat. Just go back and forth until. Because you don't want any runs. You want to avoid runs. Be careful with the runs. Once you get runs, that's it. <laughs> but anyway, okay, that's it. Um, just want to heads up on these and how to go about making them. Again, this is just wood that I found out and about. And the holes are pretty interesting too. Give it more character. Again, I put wall hangers on them. And you can hang them outside or in your porch or indoors or, you know, wherever you want to hang them. And these here I have left outside for a while during the summertime. That's why they got that real old look, faded, faded look. Same with the list when I had these two out there. Just to give it some age. But experiment, you know, like I said, just follow simple steps. And if you got an old piece of wood and you got an old picture, just experiment. Try it out. Cool, huh? Okay, this is Rand for Scrappy Toys. And like always, you take care, and you take care of those ones you love. Thank you. Thank you very much.